Come on. Got my swag on for this. D&D RPG all the rules are D&D story is very immersive there's two expansions for it it's a really old game it was made for hardware that wasn't even around at the time for any reason it's a niche game Files for all my characters. Sad, I know. And as you can see, Shadow Play has camera support now. Neutral, cleric. I'm not sure if I was going to be something else. Multi class with him or not. Probably cleric rogue. Was I going to do that? I can't remember. Yeah, I was going to be cleric rogue with him. I'm going to let you read his biography. That I'm crafted. <laughs> I'm gonna get into this game. So many years ago today. Ah, my foster son is up and dressed I see. Today is the High Harvest Fair, and the West Harbor Village Council requires me to man the archery competition. The human need to celebrate Remembrance Days baffles me. But at least something productive may come of it. The Merchant Galen is here. He'll want my furs as he usually does. Coins can be useful in getting by. This past season has been a hard one for both tilled fields and wildlands. While I attend to the archery contest, I will need you to deal with the merchant. Fetch my furs from the chest. Over by the painting. I guess I can do the uh, uh, tutorial. The High Harvest Fair. West Harbor Fair. For the hell of it, I'll start things off with the fair, with the tutorial, I guess. What that be it for tonight? And I'll start playing the game. Ooh, got some kind of glitch there. And I'm playing the disc version of this game. It's on my disc drive. I don't have the good old game version of it, which has uh, everything, everything released for this game. So uh, I'd have to get the disc version of. Uh, Storm of Zahir. Zahir. Good. I see you have the furs. Galen has probably set up his tent on the village green. He'll be enjoying the fair with the rest of the townsfolk. Last season I asked him to bring a duskwood bow to trade. 
Sell him the furs and use the coins it gives you to purchase the bow. Your friends await you at the bridge. I suppose you're anxious to see the fair. But don't forget to trade with Galen. Come to think of it, I don't remember what feats I have and what's his character. I know I got Thug background trait, which is good to have for that it's plus two initiative. And uh Appraise and intimidate. I, I, I don't really use intimidate much, but I might, I might stack it with this and appraise. I don't know. It's good to stack your feats and abilities in this game. You don't have to do that, but so like, a, like slippery mind works with good with elf characters or dwarves because uh, they already have a resistance to magic and will, you know, will you know, whatever. Fiend only works with humanoids against humanoids like human character enemies and orcs um, lizardlings I wouldn't suggest getting the chaos domain huh? you, know, you get very little with that trickery increases the it reduces the skill penalty of getting rogue abilities if you multi-class of the rogue I don't want to need that let's get some pretty good spells and, and plus it says I got chaos and trickery I, I'll be able to use confusion at level 5 and confusion at level 4 so that means I'll be able to use it twice yeah get a spell I could use twice I'm just gonna see what I'm gonna stack up as far as skills go. Skills, I mean. Let's see, reflex save, set trap, sleight of hand. Let's see if I've already got the skills and I got arm. This armor is negating it or something. Let's see. No, I'll get it later. I think I need a couple more levels. Sleight of hand, set trap, intimidate, praise, and uh, initiative checks. I need to. Uh, so what I need to get is improved initiative next. And what I did is I get strength 14, dexterity 14. I didn't want to use weapon finesse or anything, so it's just one feat I don't have to get. And I would always suggest at least having a constitution of 12, because never have a constitution of 10, especially as an elf, because you'll <laughs> you get slaughtered. High intelligence is good for any character. You could just go all out with intelligence. If you want, like intelligence 15 or something. Charisma is important for all classes, just about. I mean, you can go crazy, you can just, be anything you want in this game is crazy. Skill affinity. Listen, search, but. I hope I have a high enough intelligence to get all this stuff. That's important. You need that intelligence to get all these skills. So I'll focus on search, spot, listen. Intimidate. Uh, set trap. Slide of hand. Appraise. Bluff is too low already, so there's no point. Well, maybe. I'm not sure. Diplomacy. I can work on diplomacy regardless because it goes up faster as a cleric. Okay, just, just planning some things out there.
on the swag turned on. Putting all of that. There you are! Come on, the fair's already started! It's the biggest fair in years. There's folk in from all the outlying farms, and even a few from outside the mare. That means a big audience. A big audience, all cheering for us. This year's our last chance to compete for the Harvest Cup. Our last chance to win! The Mossfelds won both their matches in the Harvest Brawl. They'll be tough to beat, but Amy's bound to win the tourney of talent for us. I convinced Tarmus to teach me a few new spells. And I dug up a couple more from his spell books when he wasn't looking. Anyway, I heard Will Mossfeld is doing the same act this year, so that should help my chances. Oh, gods. Not the pixie impressions again. We sign up with Georg in the village square. Come on! <laughs> look, how, look how dumb Bevel is. Intelligence 9, Wisdom 8. That's a dumb motherfucker right there. <laughs> That's a dumb ass motherfucker right there. Sure, yes. Moon Elf, pretty straightforward. You're gonna be like Wild Elf, even. Or Wood Elf. Or Drow, but I wouldn't be a drow. Level's too slow. That's a cool factor though. That one, the drow does. I've made some half drow characters before. And the blight. You're sure it's spreading Orlin? It's no blight, Georg. It's something else. There's no mold, no rot. Like the crops don't want to grow. Like they're having the guts to up and face the sun. What do the druids say? Well, it's just a rub, Georg. There's no druids to be found. Not head nor heel. It used to be they warned me of troubles. Long before I noticed the signs myself. But this time, we're out in silence. You think we ought to say something? Everyone's gathered for the fair. Even from the outlying farms. No. They ought to be free from cares. At least for a day. We'll go round tomorrow. Talk to the households one by one. Right you are, Georg. Tomorrow, then. Aha! Uh -huh. I've been wondering when I'd see the three of you. Last year to compete, isn't that right? Rules are the same as ever. Win three of the four events, and you win the Harvest Cup. Win all four, and the Village Council grants you a special prize. <laughs> And nobody's done that since old Cormac. <coughs> oh, that boy was a legend. Oh, I'm sure there's a hundred Cormacs in a city like Neverwinter. But for this town, he was as big as folks get. Old Cormac fought Lawn Starling in the brawl. <laughs> and some story that was. But I don't suppose you have time for stories just now. You've pulled more than your share of pranks in the past, so I'll be watching you close. No stealing the cup this year, or leaving any smelly surprises inside for the winner. I chose the troublemaker background trait. Well, because I chose uh, this deity, Erevan Illusiri, or Illusiri, whatever. She's the moon elf deity, or he is, moon elf deity of uh, thievery and mischief or something, I don't know. Just fits the character, really. Plus, my cleric is all about them deities. Um, it's, I can't max out the processor. I've tried everything. I've got, a, I'm uploading a video to YouTube right now. It's a big one. It's my Crisis 2, my joke video, my, my, it's a joke video, it's not serious. Um, I mean, I could do like, maybe, a whole, I could do a whole bunch of shit in the background, and it wouldn't be, the processor wouldn't go for 24, or high 20%, it's crazy. It's 
This is this PC is way better than my last one. Definitely, definitely a lot better. I built this myself too. I built the last one, but I built this one. Um, exact specifications. So, and I got my network adapter plugged into a USB 3.1. It's got a USB 3.1 on this thing. So I use that for um, network adapter, uh, gamepad sometimes. For um, I, don't know. I don't know why I do that. Actually. But what you need to do here is just save before stuff like this. Yeah, all throughout the game, just do that. Just uh, just going to override that. Use this character now. I'm going to use it only for play, you know, recording purposes. And if you want me to, I'll, I'll play different characters. Why they didn't give Brother Mary more voice over work? He's just mostly just text based chat dialogue, I mean. Give him that one part when, the, when they attack. That's the West Harbor. Always save before this brawl because those guys can kick your ass. You just reload and what's up? Try your luck again because the game is all rolls anyway. What, what is it? Go ahead and make a backup save. All spare. See how much damage I do? Five. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. Level one. Seven. That's not bad either. I mean. Strength 4, 14, dexterity 14, pretty balanced if you're using a sword, like a long sword or um, certain other weapons. Oh, they want to, okay. You're not supposed to be a, do it like this, but they're not particularly hard. Those other people are, though. I don't say. Heal me. Son. Okay, this is the part where you save because those dudes are not easy. All fun and games. I do that a lot. The uh, chaotic neutral. I can do that. Let's go. 
place. I'm gonna all attack this guy. Our enemy is here. Yeah. Okay. What's up? He's gone behind double battle. Bring it to me. Let's attack. I'll here. get it done. I'm out of the fight. Oh, we lost. Please don't hurt me. She's not going to be able to beat him. Sure, yes. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Go ahead and load it up. And uh, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so that's the reason everything's harder, even the tutorial. I can do that. Well, that's just dandy. Bring it to me. Let's see what you do. Only one left. Oh, what's up? Let's see. Son of a bitch. Well, that's just dandy. I never lost twice before. He's now starting to piss me off. I can do that. I'll get it done. You, you die here. Well, fun and games. Get on them. Attack, I say. Very fun. See if I can do that again. Put it all on. I don't do a lot of things with this character, sorry. Him. Well, that's just Good luck, last time. Bring it to me. I can do that. Let's go. Get it done. This is becoming real time.
some strategy in RTS. Fiend. Just use direct sound 3D7 plus software pen and line. Yeah. 
terrible, man. Better than I do. There you go. Pink this fucker. I'm dead. Ooh, I won. Finally. I'm definitely saving right now. Ooh. Maybe it's a character, I'm not sure. I thought it would be a good character. Pretty balanced. <sighs> Whatever. Hillbilly redneck guy.
Yes, indeed. Let's choose the default level of my uh, companions. What? What is it? Orland's right. This pig's been enchanted. It's a faint aura, so it could have been a simple enlargement spell, or maybe a potion. Well, Retta did give us a scroll of Lesser Dispel. All I'd have to do is read the words. Wait a minute. Uh, shouldn't we say something to Louis? He's a foul old wretch. But we ought to give him a chance to withdraw his pig from the contest before he's shamed in front of everyone. You know, I haven't played any game in so long. I can never forget this one. Messed up there, see? I, I, really, I remember all the places I messed up doing this tutorial. Challenge for last. Just the easy one. So, you've decided to compete for the cup, I see. I know this is your last year, but the rules apply to all. Even foster sons. Fetch a crossbow from the barrel and take a few shots at the practice target. You must hit the target once, before you can compete. Are you ready to compete then? The rules are the same as last year. Ten shots and ten targets. Your targets will be old bottles set atop the crates yonder. Five is the best score so far. If you remember the lessons that have been taught to you, you should be able to best that. Chance you'll miss some bottle. I'll if you kill you. You'll again. see. I'll kill you. You'll see. All fun and games. I don't know why I finished the tutorial like this. All you get is a harvest cloak, which increases charisma by one, and a harvest cup, which has the lowest level heal spell and change it on it. I'll kill you! You'll it's see! It's at the low level. Well done! A perfect score wins the competition outright. I've rarely seen such a fine performance so early in the day. You have a marksman's instinct. That much is plain. Go on now, there's still more of the fair to see. See, no. Only one more thing to do. 
You stand as this year's winner in archery and the first to achieve a perfect score. A fine bow, a fine one, made by one who loves his craft. You may keep the rest of the gold as your allowance for the season. That is all I require of you. No doubt your friends will be eager to return to the fair. Enjoying the fair? Packs of feral children set loose to find trinkets. Grown men braining one another with clubs. Do you know they're actually granting prizes for the fattest pig? As if the creatures needed encouragement. Who's grumbling? They've given me charge of the knave's challenge. I always tell them we ought to encourage thievery in our children. Good for the mind. We live in a swamp after all. What else is there to do? Come to think of it, I don't believe any of you has the skills to compete. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. But you'll need to find someone who can pick pockets and break locks and search for hidden trinkets if you want to compete. Lock breakers? Pocket pickers? I don't know anyone like that. Do you? What about Kip? He's always nicking vials from Tarmas, and he's right over there behind the tent. Kip the dude. Isn't that the boy who stole my basilisk eyelash? And not once, but four times. That's right. My frog needed eyelashes. Then I got him a sweetheart and she needed him too. Don't trouble yourself on my account. I'll settle with the young artiste and his frogs later. Before you begin, I suppose you'll want to hear the rhyme. All the more unfortunate for me, then. It's always better to have a willing audience, especially when one's material is particularly dreadful. But Georg asked for a rhyme. That's what wizards do, after all. We compose rhymes. Here, I'll demonstrate. <clears throat> I've hidden three feathers, scattered them wide, placed white in a box, and locked it inside. Blue followed termite tracks down where they ran, green in the pocket of same colored man. Yes, you and half the waifs in West Harbor, I adore children, did you know that? Swamp children, particularly. Shades. of same colored man. I'll bet that's him over by the house. The feathers in his pocket. It's got to be. In step, follow me. Get in step, follow me. Oh, 
I'm done with this damn tutorial now. Just wanted to do it for the sake of consistency. It really is a dreadful day for a fair. Not even the tents are managing to look cheerful. Thank the gods! The knave's challenge is won, and I can go someplace dry. I believe that means you've won the cup as well. Probably best to tell Georg. You know the fellow. Large, cheery, talks a bit. Dogs. Well played. Well played. You've won the cup. And all four events. Nobody's done that since Cormac. That warrants a special reward, of course. I have a harvest cloak for you, courtesy of the village council. It'll be yours at the end of the day. If there's anything you wanted to do before the award ceremony, now's the time. Maybe a mug of harvest mead to celebrate, eh? Or maybe some well-deserved bragging. What's the point of, win of winning if you don't get a chance to gloat? I'll meet you at the stage when you're ready for the victory speech. Now, I'm off! Who's that new blood? Always get blessed. Always get blessed. Got some offensive stuff. And I'm not going to be a rogue just yet. Not yet. Plan them all out. Pick up approved initiative. Skip them. That's always a good one. Yes, indeed. But it stacks with a thug background trade. Those are good to get. Great 42 lightning reflexes, iron wheel. Sure, yes. Alright, got some new spells, alright? Bluff is really good to have. I prefer bluff over the other. 
persuasion skills, but I wouldn't be able to get it up very high. Go ahead and get this over with. Gather round, mates! Gather round! This Harvest Fair is a celebration, but it's also a dark anniversary. We all know what else happened on this day. Not so long ago, we nearly lost this village. Almost lost our lives. Almost lost it all. But we came back. Cleared burnt farms, buried our dead, and put our ashes behind us. And we rebuilt. Tougher and stronger than ever. Long as there's a harvest fair, we won't forget that day. And our young folks, they'll stay tough. Long as they compete for the Harvest Cup. So let's hear it for this year's winners. Three cheers for the Harvest Champions. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The village is under attack! West Harbor is under attack! You're safe! Grab a weapon! We need to help defend the village! How would I know? There's nothing in this village of value! Maybe they're just raiding for food! Not that it matters! We are under attack and we need to help defend the village! We better hurry! I saw some of them following us on our way here! They're likely to hit this house next! Don't be crazy. You know our village is the only settlement in this swamp. Where else would we go? And if I had to say I was any alignment, I'd say chaotic neutral. Don't judge me. It's in that chest next to your bed. You keep everything in there, remember? Hurry up and arm yourself. The longer we wait, the more we put the village at risk. Seems like some type of stereotype that all PC gamers drink Dr. Pepper. It's true. I love Dark Pepper. Can't get enough of it. I came wonderfully close to getting off caffeine. Are you sure you want to be going in there? Was it on? Your father isn't the most understanding C person. A couple I've ever months met. ago. This was useful. And at this time, Abertine's amulet of aid. Oh, I got all the spells I want right now. I don't suggest doing the prestige class because you have to be, even if you meet the requirements, that you have to be like uh, a certain level. I think level 10. I made a cleric rogue and I met the requirements to be an invisible blade in level 3 or 4 and I still couldn't be one so it pissed me off. I'm not going to prestige class, I'm just going to multi-class. Cleric rogue is pretty badass though. 
glory comforters. Glory comforters. She's about to die anyway. What? Good <clears throat> thing about cleric is you don't have to be lawful good to be, you know, like a paladin. Playing a rogue type rogue type cleric could be a shadow dancer and be interesting, but I can't prestige class. I've tried. And, shh, I can't do it. So, yeah. This play video will be long as long as hell. There you are. I saw some of those creatures enter your house, and it is good to see you safe. I don't know where these beasts came from, but we need every sword at the southern bridge. More of these creatures are on the way, and in greater numbers, Georg is trying to gather the militia. But I fear he would not be able to marshal the defense in time, and without help, this village will fall. Watch this, watch this. That is why I want you to meet him as quickly as possible. You and I may not always see eye to eye. But I suspect you are quicker on your feet when danger strikes than Georg. Head south along the road. I will stay here and look for the wounded, then join you. Georg should be at the bridge. Join him quickly. He will no doubt have orders for you. But before you go, take this blessing from Lathander. All of you. If you are wounded or need another blessing in the fight ahead, simply return and speak to me. I'm a ghost. Ooh. What right there? When you're invisible, you can like uh, you slide a pan, open locks, disarm crap. You can even pick up loot. Can't you? Hmm. you can't attack. Now you can get this on. Let's hope I can get it out. Take a chill, Textures to high wouldn't have been a big deal at all. I'm playing 1080p, 60 frames per second. Well, usually. Always. Oh, I'm not sure. Please don't hurt me. What anyway? It was in the hundreds at one point. 
as I remember. You can help them if you want, but I don't want to. Thank the gods you made it. There's been no sign of your father, and I feared you'd been killed as well. I have no idea where these creatures came from or what they want, but the ones loose in the village are only the first wave. More are coming. A lot more. If we're going to stop them, we need someone to rally the militia and meet them head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Apply directly to the forehead. Apply directly to the forehead. Don't question me. Not now. This is more than any of us were expecting. I can't leave the southern half of the village exposed. Not while more attackers keep pouring in. Now go. When you've gathered everyone you can, meet me at the wheat field south and west of here. We'd better search the town, try to gather who we can, and I hope we can find enough still alive. Lighting reflexes. Um, skill focus, sleight of hand. Skill focus, intimidate. Skill focus, set trap. Okay, that's six. Plus that, and national trigger. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna do about that. Let's see. Did that work out. Be nice to get Iron Will with this chaos for me, but whatever. Long sword, rapier, longbow, and torpo. That's a good proficiency to have if you're like me. Only got a simple weapon. Uh, I got another character. If you choose the war domain and Coraline Lotharian. As your deity, you get martial weapon proficiency, plus you get a uh, weapon focus longsword. That's what I was playing last time. This is color spread. Trust of fatigue. Sometimes you generate some type of threat and they all start attacking you. Two types of improved initiatives make it where I hit a lot better. I shouldn't be doing that very much. Huh? Get away! Did you see those creatures out there? What, you came to drag me out there to die? Not on your life. I'm staying right here. Let's test my intimidate. But I tried to fight. There's so many of them. Too many. All right, all right, I'm going. I'll meet you there. I'm not dead when you arrive. 
You aren't getting in here! I'm not going out there. I'll be cut down in sec- All right, all right. The doors are- I wasn't gonna skip dialogue. Well, the, the written dialogue, I might skip some, but... Instead of the watch, I usually join the watch. It's a good place to save. This can be a good player home too. Go ahead and save my backup here. I might go ahead and get this over with this attack thing in West Harbor. You three stay out of this! It's too dangerous! Master, just hold on. We can help. Remember me. <laughs> so the world seeks to test herself. How pathetic. The rest of you stay where you are. I shall waste no more time on this pitiful village. It is not here. I guess medium textures are okay. Not as good as high. But I want those frames, so. Prostro Pandix. I don't want to fight these poisonous ass fighters. <laughs> You'll have to wait till the battle over to rest and hope your fortitude is high enough. Look at the spear. I'm gonna go Aborigine on her ass. What is if you attack when you're, when you're invisible, then you're just flat footed. The stupid girl! I There's more to do. Georg and the militia are holding our attackers at bay on the Starling farm. We must hurry before the tide turns. It's just down this road. We better get moving. Tarmas will need our help. Leave her. It's too late. We must hurry to the Starling Farm before more harbormen meet the same fate as she did! If only I had more time to gather equipment from my home. If you make your way there, you may find some magical and alchemical equipment of use. It's to the north! Now go! Now go. Come here, potential soldier. Oh, I forgot. That's based on bluff. I gotta get the bluff up. We don't know where about right now. Bring it to me! Wow, hit me hard. Go 
I'm not actually using the harvest, so. Choking powder, tangled foot bags, and acid flasks to my companions and let them just use them. It doesn't really do much damage. But you need them against trolls and such to kill them. Also, you can't kill them. Ask for fire. Let's use spells. Talk to this guy. <laughs> Well done! Now we have a chance! All right, Militia! Ready your weapons and move out! It's time we stand our ground! Another wave is coming! Prepare for battle! The battle is up! Holy shit. They're entering the Starling House. But if we don't hold the next wave off, the whole village could be overrun. Let's go. If we hurry, we can stop them before they find the children. Forget the children. We could use your sword, but I understand. You keep my brother and sister from harm, and you can have anything you want.
Hit the job. Who up? Glory Comforters. Hit up. Glory Comforters. Drop. First the loot, then the children. <laughs> First the loot, then the children. Thank the gods that's over. We would not have held them much longer. Dagon! Much blood has been lost tonight. Let us make the enemy pay in kind. I'm gonna be rogue, so I'm gonna be used to not dealing damage directly. Okay. 
plate waves. That is the last of them. For now, gather the wounded and the dying. Let's see how many we can steal from death's clutches. Thank the gods we were able to hold them at the farm. How many did we lose? Ian! Vera! Pearson! What were those things, anyhow? Never seen anything quite like them. They're called bladelings. Their kind is rarely seen in our realm. They dwell in a place beyond. Well then, what in the nine hells are they doing here? Lathander doesn't illuminate all mysteries for me. We must rely on our own wit and resources. One of those dwarves mentioned they were searching for something. Does anybody know what it was? Boy, come over here. I see you're unharmed. Many have not been so fortunate, and others have seen their final night. I understand you lost a friend of yours in the attack. A tragedy. She was a promising young mage. Or so I've been told. That you will. I see you understand the folly of dwelling upon loss. I do not have much time to talk. There are many who are wounded. Now, there is something you must do tonight. Those bladelings were here to find something. And I fear I know what. Very good. This is not a night for words, but action. There is an item, a silver shard. Long ago, I concealed it in the old stones outside of town. I fear it may have drawn these creatures down upon us. And, uh... There's a console command you have to use to uh, get the game to recognize that you picked up the shard. So just go to the chest and, and the ruins, and pick up the shard. You, well, you can click the uh, thing, the the unidentified loot before it, and then the shard, and then uh, go to what's that? What's that called? Like the thing there, squealy line. I'm not sure what it's called, but you click that console command button. And you type uh, debug mode one, debug capital letter D, capital letter M, debug mode one, and uh, type in. Well, I'll, I'll put it in the description. What you have to type in, and you have to type it in, cause uh, some type of a uh, glitch, silver shard glitch. It's the, it's the biggest glitch in this game. But you have to type it in to progress, unless you get some type of patch from good old games or something I'm not sure but I'll put that in in the video description definitely and uh, there's one more glitch later on called Mos uh, Mosiah's backpack that quest where you go into the ruins near um high cliff and fight that uh, shadow priest that uh, cleric priest, whatever that evil cleric priest, shadow priest, and uh, the adventurers that that dude is looking for in High Cliff have been turned into zombies, adventurers, and that quest doesn't work. I've tried the console command for that, doesn't work. So just skip that quest. So just. Yeah. There are too many wounded to care for, more than Brother Marin can handle on his own. I cannot go. So you must travel there in my place. There is no choice in this matter. The stones outside of town are older and deeper than you may think. In the farthest chamber of these ruins, look for a strong box. Inside is the shard. There remains only one thing. You should not go alone. Bevel, I need you to accompany my son to the ruins. This is an important task. But Georg says the ruins have been overrun by lizardling tribes. And that is why you must go. The cries of the wounded cannot be ignored any longer. Find the shard. Find it and bring it here. No offense meant, but your father makes the hairs on my neck stand up. Still, if we're going to do this, we should make some haste. It sounds urgent. The path that runs along the river is our best route into the swamp. We can take it to the ruins when you're done here. I'll sell this junk. Go ahead and save. Or rest, then save.
You probably are here for some sort of reason, I imagine. I am not some street peddler of minor magics. However, I could always use more coin. Very well. This is, that is hilarious. Where's my lore skill at? I'm not even sure. Get a good lore skill. Don't have to have it, but you have to have it to identify objects, I'm for damn sure. Books in the game are really books, or just like descriptions of books. <laughs> I'm giving that. My praise is kind of high, so I'm getting better prices for this stuff. It's going to be a lot higher. Indeed, indeed. I always just usually get those two. Go ahead and get them. get some arrows for later. I just stash them in one of the other tabs. So I'll always have arrows. Okay. Put it in the tab too, I guess. Oh my eyes are watery. Oh shit. I get to it I'll show you the console command if you can see it on the screen now this I'm not sure it's been an age since I've come this far into the swamp there are some twists and turns before we get to the ruins there's probably more than lizardlings ahead so uh, lead on I guess I'm sorry I'm smoking so much I'm just I don't know why I'm doing it when you're a cleric, you can be kind of selfish with your spells. Glory conforms. And you do not have to be a healing cleric at all. You do not. You can use your... You can use a heal spell. Or your skill, I mean... Where's my skill at? Four? That's not bad. And it, it doesn't have to go up very high. To be able to use it. Diplomacy 7. Love 1. Let's see. Let's see if that's coming up.
Rostro fatigues it. characters right here. I, I don't even play them. Another, another is a half trail. It's an archer. Crossbow character. Kind of weird that one. Say Cleric Rogue. I'm about to do that with this character too. Next level. That's, that's the one I've gotten furthest with with this playthrough. This game. About the same. Except he's a Sun Elf. be a wild elf. He's like a nature cleric type dude. Gonna be a like storm lord or something? I'm not sure. Or a divine champion or war priest. But like I said, I, I'm not gonna do the prestige class thing because I it doesn't work for me. Sorry, no one will tell me how to fix it, so whatever. Rostro fatigues it. Could 
a good rest in if you can. Get your spell back. Glory Conforus! Glory Conforus! I don't even need spell for this one. Magical Watsis! My spell flopped! Your really spell go away if you do that. Frostro fatigues. Great sword building was Glory Conforus. Kind of tough. Prostrophatics. Short bow or long bow, don't matter. The maximize. Let's go ahead and save. Intelligence on them is weird, but somebody, since I'm a rogue, let's 
kind of important. Does Rogue have listen? Yeah, it does. Okay. Can listen too. Now my skills are a lot higher. A lot higher. I've got a highest armor check penalty. There's still a two, so it's gonna be crazy. Let's see. Well, not really. There's only two still. Not sure why that is. I'll fix that later, I guess. Now I've got sneak attack. Yeah, I'll just as it is. Next level up, I'm just gonna put it on a sleight of hand and I'll set a trap. Get that up. Just go ahead and save. I'll save it on the second save just in case I change my mind about being a rogue, which I might do. It's possible. I'll be right Bane seems pretty useless, so I might change that up.
what's that? Two? My dexterity isn't gonna go up anyway, so it don't no matter. Let's give it the battle. Yes indeed. Lamp changes. What? Ugly armor what is, is something it? better. I'm not gonna use shields. Get that full strength monitor. Great sword. Initiative isn't working like it, I thought it was. It's working okay, but it could be a lot better. Yes, indeed. Yeah! 
of the stone tomb. Please hear our plea. The other lizardling tribes take our territory. They wage war. And before we fight them for our ancestral hatching grounds, we asked for your blessings. There certainly are an awful lot of them. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. A warm blood. Here. Your very presence offends the stone god. And this gives you the right to intrude on our lands. <coughs> disturb our most holy of rituals. <coughs> hey! Shh. Shut up. For brothers of the Stone God, we will let you do this thing. Do what you have come here to do. We will leave the warm bloods in peace, my followers. Be quiet, Sam. Okay, here's the glitch. Alright, you type debug mode one. You type RSGA conversation self parentheses of an SW. Scene. We, we were risking life and limb for that? Quiet. None of this makes any sense. Dagon can do his own blasted quest from now on. When you're done searching around, let's get out of here. Huh? I've got to get him a chew boy. Did you do this? Why? Why are you so pissed or something? <laughs> Did you get him out here? Yeah. Come on. Oh, sorry. 
about that. have returned, and you have brought the shard. That's all you can say? I almost died out there! If I did not believe you could handle the task, I would have sent another. Yeah, well, you weren't out there in the swamp getting attacked by lizard folk. No, I was here attending the wounded, Bevel. Now find Marion and do the same. I don't see how you put up with him. Now, for the shard. Let me see it. Our talk is for our ears alone. Bevel has served his purpose and does not need to be troubled any further. Bevel has his uses, but it is not wise to depend on someone of Starlane blood for too long. Also, his complaining tires me and will not serve you where you are bound. Many such ruins lie within the mare and beneath it. They are of ancient Ilfarn, an empire once forged from an alliance of dwarfs and elves. All that remains are ruins and little else. And their empire lives on only in history books and stories. That shard is one of a pair. Both were found after the battle that destroyed West Harbor long ago. My half-brother Duncan and I asked a mage in Neverwinter to examine the shards for enchantments, but he found nothing except a faint magical aura, residue of the battle. And so I kept one shard, and the other I gave to Duncan. Not long after I returned to West Harbor, I sealed it away in the ruins. So to speak, it would be more appropriate to say that I have a half-brother. Duncan, like Bevel, has many faults that would make it wise not to rely on him or call him kin. It was long ago, and it was a battle that did not concern West Harbor, but the village was caught up in it like many such villages in the Mayor of Dead Men. We knew little about what had sparked the conflict, Demons were involved, led by a warlock of great power. We only knew him as the King of Shadows. The forces of Neverwinter attempted to drive the demons back. Many villagers fled, some taking the road, others wading into the swamp, anything to escape the battle. There was an explosion, pure and white. Then, nothing more. Nothing more. Strange. Perhaps the attack awakened it. If so, then perhaps a second look at these shards would yield different results. But such divinations would be beyond anyone here in West Harbor, including Tarmus. I could not bring myself to cast it away. Yet at the same time, I did not wish to keep it close. You are too young to remember what occurred, I know. But the battle was a terrible one. And that shard... It reminds me too much of that night. That is the only reason I can think of for why they came. Am I certain? No. But my instincts tell me they were looking for it. I need you to go to the city of Neverwinter. Find my half-brother Duncan, retrieve the second shard, and take it to a mage you both can trust. Duncan owns an inn in the docks district of the city, the Sunken Flagon. Not the most reputable place, but safe enough. No, I know you value him as a friend, but it will be of no help outside of West Harbor. He would only slow you down. Bevel is made for simpler things. Very well. Let us waste no more time in discussing your friend. If you have other questions, ask them. The the problem is more complicated than that. If we give them the shard, I doubt it will prevent them from believing the second one lies here as well. Or others. We only found two. It is possible there were others scattered into the swamp or taken away, or have met other ends. There are many things I have chosen not to tell you and that is because they are not relevant. Perhaps if you were to question less and heed my words, it would prevent you from becoming confused. I... I did not mean what I said, and this is no time for us to fight. You need to leave West Harbor tonight. Head to the small port town of Highcliff when you are free of the swamp. 
There, seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. The beast that attacked us will leave West Harbor alone once they realize their quarry has fled. If all oh, no. goes well, you should be a Neverwinter before they find your trail. Say your farewells. Your boots may travel many roads before you return. I let some of the others know you are leaving, but not the why of it. We are all in danger. I will try my very best to keep the hunters busy. If Tamora wills it, your journey will be quick and safe. But Lady Luck is fickle indeed in the mare. Steal yourself for danger. Perhaps one day we will speak again and gain an understanding of each other. We are all in danger, but Lady Luck is fickle indeed in the mare. I was raised amongst the wild elves, and for all my years amongst the race of man, they make little sense to me. Even though you are not one of them, you understand them better than I. I have done all I can to hide your presence. If these beasts come again, West Harbor will need me. Return when you are ready to leave, and we will speak of the path you must take. <sighs> now I'll log it up. Let's see. This incursion is the most noteworthy event that's happened here in years. I had high hopes for Amy. She was a rare find in West Harbor. A shame she failed to heed her first lesson. Always listen to Tarmas. Not that I expect you would understand. But she was the only one capable of holding a coherent conversation with me. Go if you must, but mysteries remain here that need to be answered. I plucked her from the mud, hoping to help her rise above the common rabble in this village. Believe me, when I say her loss pains me more than you think. You have your moments of wit, I grant you. But Amy was a rare gem in this place. Give something? To you? Hardly. I've already lost an apprentice, the fool girl. I have no intention of making any further sacrifices. You'd be wise to begin your journey before I turn you into a toad or something. I've been missing a few things, and I have a good idea who's responsible. Suffice it to say that I find the bustle of city life even less endearing than the mosquitoes here. And here I can work quietly in exchange for teaching some mud farmer's child a bit of lore every now and again. There's more to it than farming and pig contests. Of that you can be certain. Come back later, then we can talk. That man says decidedly too much. It's true that part of the reason I came to West Harbor is because of the war that was fought here. You've probably heard it mentioned from time to time. And no doubt you've also heard the same vague accounts I have, assuming you could pry even that from the other villagers. Of course. In fact, I would prefer it. Oh, very well. I suppose I could always use more coin. Alrighty. So, Dagon is sending you to Neverwinter, eh? I can't say I approve. If it were a militia matter, I wouldn't send you alone. But I don't have any right to tell him how to raise his child. Can you at least tell me why you're going? Your father wouldn't tell me a thing. You know what they were looking for? They tore apart half the houses in town. What is it? Obviously, those beasts didn't come all that way for a chunk of silver. There must be more to it than that. That does sound important. More important than staying here. It won't be easy reaching Neverwinter. 
I've traveled that way once or twice. It's a dangerous journey, especially for one traveling alone. You might want to ask around the village. There may be a few people that would still be willing to help a troublemaker like you. You've caused nothing but trouble since you were born. I think I've been too easy on you over the years. Out there, people don't have too much patience for troublemakers and bullies like yourself. <clears throat> so, your father sent you off to Neverwinter. If, I was any other if everything that's happened tonight isn't enough adventuring for one lifetime. I'm hoping that you'll be back soon enough after you reach the city, but most people who leave West Harbor don't come back. Just remember, you won't have any harbormen there to protect you if you get into trouble on the road. Hopefully your father's right and there will be no more attacks once the shard is gone. Still, the village will need every sword arm it has. As a member of the militia, my sworn duty is to defend West Harbor. I can't just turn my back on that. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep the place standing for you when you return. I want to hear about all of your adventures. I've got some bandages here, though you can also have my share of the loot that we found. You'll need it. Well, here. Wish I could go with you, but the defense of the village is important too. Good luck. And if you run across the one who killed Amy, stick a blade through his heart for me. She deserves at least that. Said your farewells? To get to Neverwinter, take the road that borders the Starling Farm out of town. It is the only road through the Mayor of Deadman, so following it will be easy. The road itself has not been patrolled for some time, and few travel it. Move quickly, and you may be able to avoid the many beasts of the Mayor. I suspect you will see your share of battle before you reach Neverwinter. Stray from the road, and the danger is even greater. I've made it known that you travel directly for the city, in the hopes that the enemy will pursue you along the high road. Instead, you will head to the small port town of Highcliff once you are clear of the swamp. From there, you will seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. Your trip to Neverwinter will be quicker by water and my attempt at misdirection may allow you to reach Highcliff before the enemy becomes aware of your true route. I have nothing more to say. It's time for you to go, my son. Each moment you remain here brings greater risk to the village. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Add a bunch of different parts to it, you know. Do some later. Play this guy later, you know. Okay, bye. Uh,